shot. Hopefully I'm not in the camera shot. Oh. Welcome to the lab. A new, new episode is about to unfold from Loro's lab today. You guys uh, realize, but I just joined DRX, the Korean org. That is pretty known, I would say. I wanted to swear, but I remember that you cannot swear anymore in the first 15 seconds of a YouTube video. And that happened today. I'm super proud. Um, so we're going to be talking a little bit about Chamber today. We're going to be talking a little bit about Chamber. Because I feel like Chamber on Lotus specifically is going to be insanely nice to play. You know, and all people will be like, well, what, what would you want to play K uh, Chamber over Killjoy or Cypher? Well, the thing is, you can play both. Because Chamber is still a killing machine. And he can be actually insanely annoying to play against on Lotus. And I want to focus on the positioning of his TP. Because it, it's very similar to what we had in bind with the two TPs. But now it's possible with one TP on bind. So we're going go to go um, to the match. And I will explain what I mean. So let's take a look at the minimap. Right now this, this uh, waterfall um, TP allows you to have a very specific location on the map. Right? When, you're stand, when you have this uh, TP allow, uh, the, uh, in the waterfall, it allows you to stand in many different positions at once and have a lot of control. One, you can be in B lobby and have full control over it right? for the first tempo. Because you can just literally just go out of the barrier and have an off angle and be just in safety literally in a moment. right? But also, you're able to stand on site because even though there's no visible range here, it still counts. So you can stand again in an off angle and be in safety in waterfall, which allows you as well to rotate faster in case C is under pressure, right? So this is actually insanely useful. And even if you're standing on C with this TP already, there's always like a little bit of an uh, of, of a possibility of standing just in this corner, get a get a shot TP back, and you're mostly covered so it's not perfect it's not perfect but it, it it allows you to take like a wide angle from the right and in case you get a first shot you can tp here and maybe not get killed probably get killed but maybe not but in general it's about taking here. the positions here on those three spots which allows you to also be aggressive when the barrier drops look you just go out here and you can be standing at sea long instantly because the barrier is at this point so the moment the barrier drops you're able to stand at c long and reposition both here also open the doors and be in the double doors sorry in the rotating door and then tp back to waterfall so you have so much map covered with just one tp and you in nine out of ten situations or nine out of 99 out of 100 situations you're gonna tp to safety right unless they're already swarming over seaside so that's one tp that i wanted to talk about then the second defense tp that i wanted to talk about is was it this one yes this one so this is at b side which has similar logic behind it like the one on c waterfall so on b upper it allows you to be in different positions at the same time here you can be on a main and have an off angle at the beginning of the round and then tp quickly to b then you can play here. on b with an off angle right right here and have a TP to safety as well, right? You can be also in the door while holding it in case your opponents will break it. Remember, those doors are an objective for the attackers. You as a defender, you don't want to break those unless you have to. So please be aware of that. And then on long, right? When the barrier drops, you the barrier is in front of us here. You're able to just play in this position right here, right? Look, look how much you can peek out, right? Then I just butcher it i think i think i butchered it a little bit wait can i put it a little bit closer that's not ready oh. ah beautiful oh Spike that's a beautiful self kill thank you i aim to please so you're able to play this angle here right still control a long while being able to tp out towards b so this is very important 
right? You can play in those really odd off angles. Remember, some people some people can shoot through this box, but you can play an off angle, so you're not standing in the direct line over here. So maybe you're not gonna get killed, right? But it's still a a, a little bit of more of a risky angle that you can take. But it's still, that's all defense, and those are like two TPs that I really want to pay to to uh, give you an info about because I do feel like they cover so much of the map. Even though you might not change them, you can use like in all 12 rounds, you can use the same TPs, those two, and you'll be able to play C, B, and A. Right? It's kind of crazy when you think about it. Very limited A in general, and I wouldn't recommend like, if you want to be like actual anchor on A, I wouldn't recommend of using any of those, uh, from sorry, on any of this A main. And maybe like using it instead or, or the, on the drop, because it allows you to play aggressively on site, for the first contact here, right? Right here, look at the look at the range. You're able to play from hut essentially, hugging the back wall and have contact with the players in the in rotating doors. NTP to safety without most likely being closed on yourself, right? Remember, you always have the trap, but we're not going to talk about the trap placement because I don't think... Uh, like, what I wanted to say is that the TPs are more of a change. And I wanted to bring to attention how does the nerf of the TPs is actually buffing the chamber to some degree. And now let's talk about the attack. The attack is actually kind of crazy when you think about it as well. Because you can have something that I described as a mini Phoenix ult almost every round. And someone is drilling my mom, I think, right now. So... Uh, if you hear the background. So, let's assume we're gonna attack B. The barrier drops, we're doing a fast push towards B, we're clearing those angles, and now we want to go onto site. I'm putting the TP over here, and look at the range. I can be here. planting the spike, TP to safety, if that's my job. I can be entering here. the site as a little bit of a Phoenix ultimate that doesn't get the free ki doesn't get the free life, but I can run essentially everywhere here, and still have the possibility of TPing out instantly. So you can follow like your um, your duelist, or you can follow a flash being played by a, by a teammate, and just try to clear the angles for them. You, even you might be a first entry, right? And you just wide swing, you take a bullet, um, you shoot a bullet, and you try to just TP out, which is very, very underrated right now, I think. I and then we're gonna do the same on A side. Acid has two positions. One, when you attack long and already have you're already at this at this spot, you can TP back to safety after planting the spike in this spot, and also just taking this the the range is like insane. You can almost take the entire like front of the uh, front side of the side and essentially help your teammates plant on defaults over here. By the way, remember the default here is bugged. You cannot plant in this corner unless you do one step backwards. That needs to get fixed at some point, right? And then the other TP that you can do is when you go into the rotating door, when you open it, you go through. You set up a tree TP, and now you're able also to plant on the default spots, play from a hut and TP to the rotating doors, which allows you, with the same logic, follow the flashes, follow the duelist that is making, making space, but if you don't have a duelist that is taking space, you might be the person best suited for that. Specifically, if, if you have, like, if you need to dry swing, I think this is the still the best agent to do so, because you can just dry swing, take a bullet, and just go away. Right? So, this allows you to get, essentially, the info from the A side. You Remember, though, when you do this TP here, those doors are gonna be your, um, well, a weakness, right? If those doors are destroyed, you might just get instantly killed by a player rotating through them towards B. So pay attention if it's destroyed or not, if it's being smoked or not, and so on. And the same logic will apply to pushing onto C side. Essentially, when you're trying to go onto the site itself, you just put the TP over here, and now you're able to go on the site fight a lot of those areas and have a very odd off angle on the post plant. Look at the minimap. Like, you just push the entire side, essentially, and you just take a very deep stance in the CT of, of the opponents and able to go back to C. But there's, again, the same logic as in, on, on A main with the yeah. breakable door. The rotating door might be a problem for you, so you need to pay attention if that being open or not. Because if that being open and there's no one else standing in this area... Well, then TPing back might be a little bit of 
pro um, problematic. But in general, like it's kind of nuts how much range you have. You can be still standing on site. Look at this. You can be standing on site if you take the risk of getting out of the range of the TP and just taking backside, right? And then you go back to site. You're back in the range of your TP and now you can play from the site. It's actually crazy when you think about it. So that's, those are the attacking TPs. And I feel like many people underestimate the power of this of this agent. On ranked, I feel like it's going to last matter less than in pro play. But I wouldn't be surprised if in pro play we're going to see compositions that play two sentinels. One will be a killjoy most likely because because Killjoy is absolutely nuts on this map, and I think she's going to be the most played agent. Um, and uh, this, then the second one might be just a chamber to supplement, because it's a free side map. A third trap would be nice in this case. And also the ability to just get <clears throat> to get a free kills almost every time, right? So because of the unexpected angles that chamber is allowed to play. So on the minimap, all the attacking TPs look like this that we talked about. Uh, remember that the B-side also allows you to plant in the default spot underneath um, underneath the upper area. And then when it comes to the defense, those are the two default TPs that I would recommend of using because they give you just so much space when it comes to anchoring um, B-side or anchoring more towards C-side and have still a, the, the, essentially the ability to travel between all three sides. Hope you guys enjoyed this little breakdown. I do think that Chamber is underrepresented right now, but I'm not surprised because people think he is dead. And I'm here to tell you that I don't think he's dead. And I've, we're going to see some resurgence on this map, at least uh, in the future. Uh, it requires a little bit more work than before. He's not just like, you know, plug him and play him in every single composition and it, and it fits like a glove. <laughs> but I think it's nuts. I think he's still it has... Headhunter, which is an essentially valuable weapon. The ultimate is still essentially just a better operator with faster fire rate than a normal operator. So, and it gives you a slow on that all after uh, after getting the kills. So, it's insanely useful to shutting down pushers. And on this map, it's going to be also very important because of the uh, choke points that we have on this map. Like, imagine the choke points here on C main, right on B main. And those two, first and foremost, because they essentially are the only entrances to those sites, unless the doors are broken, then B has another pressure point. But in general, holding those two, those two sites with a chamber ultimate with the two of the fours, I think is insanely threatening to the attackers. So, um, yeah, I, I think chamber might be a very good pick for this map. Hope, hope you guys enjoyed this and uh, try it out, you know, like... I think it's really going to be nice to play on Lotus. Thank you for watching. See you guys around.